Hey everybody, how are you doing today? Welcome to English 1A. In this video, we're gonna be talking about stage number three of the writing process. That's right, we've made it to the revision stage. Yay, we're in the revision stage. So at this point, you've already completed the first two stages of the writing process. You're in stage number three, and you only have two more to go, which is pretty awesome. So in this video, we're gonna cover three things. That's right, just three things. One, we're gonna talk about what is the revision section of the writing process? Number two, we're gonna talk about peer review, one of the most important parts of the revision section. And then we're gonna talk about tutoring, which is the other key point in the revision process. So if you're ready, we're gonna dive right into our screen right now. Okay, everybody, in case you guys have forgotten, because I know after we write our first rough draft, our brains kind of go a little bit crazy, we want to remember what the steps are in the writing process. So first things first, we completed pre-writing, we got our brainstorm out of the way, we did our free write, we got our introduction done, it was awesome. Then you guys just completed your first draft of the paper. Wow, that's amazing just to get that off the, your plate. That's awesome that you've been able to do that much. So now we're gonna head into the revision section. So just as a reminder, there's also gonna be editing after this, and then finally we're gonna publish and turn in our paper in stage number five. So when we're doing the writing process, there are five steps, and we always wanna know which one we're in. So a key thing for the revision section, when you come down to that one, is that there's gonna be peer review, and you also are gonna see a tutor. Revision is not just about checking your grammar or fixing some of the sentences. It's about rearranging your paragraphs and making sure your examples, your quotes, your ideas in each body paragraph make sense. So this is your opportunity to basically test it out with some audience testing by through pe your peers or also through a tutor. This is an, act an active point in your writing process where you can make changes still and also make the paper a lot better based on the feedback that you get. So here's the two ways we're going to give you feedback, peer review and tutoring. For essay number one, you guys turned in a rough draft. Now, if you're like me and didn't turn it in on time, then you don't have any peer reviews. So you're going to have to message me to make sure you get those peer reviews. Send me a message in my Canvas inbox and I'll make sure you get the peer reviews. Just make sure you send that message 24 hours before it's actually due for the peer reviews so you can have time to make sure you get in those peer reviews and give them the uh, time and effort and thought that they need to be able to give them good feedback. Now, once you've turned it in, if you did turn it in on time, you're going to see those two peer reviews assigned to you right here. You're going to see two people's names. You're going to click on their paper, and then you're going to be able to read the paper and give them some feedback. One of the ways you can give them feedback is like, if you look at this one right here, I have an opportunity to use these tools right up here at the very top when I'm reading the person's paper. First thing I could do is I could use this little point of annotation and drop something on their paper, like great title. Or maybe I want to do something else. Maybe I want to highlight on their paper and give them some feedback there. If I do that, I can click any of these colors, highlight it right there, and then write a little note for them. Or maybe I just want them to cut something out because it doesn't make any sense. In which case, I can use this strike through one right there, and then I can write a little note. When you're giving feedback, what you want to do is give feedback on the paper, but you also want to give them some sort of generalized feedback. So when it says right there under assignment comments, try to give them two things that they can work on and two things that you thought were really awesome about their paper. If you want, you can also use the rubric as well to give them some feedback. So you just use that rubric by clicking right there and then you can give them a score in the rubric. It's a nice way to let them know what you think they're doing on the requirements for the paper. Finally, one of the ways that you guys can get feedback on your paper is to go through tutoring. Now there's different options you could use. You could use our on-campus tutoring center, the WRC. You could use Smart Thinking, or you could use NetTutor. All of these are great options. What you wanna do and remember when you're doing any of these tutoring options is that you need to come in already knowing what stage of the writing process you're in. Right now you're in revising. And then also you're gonna to wanna to talk about some specific areas of your paper you wanna work on. So that could be a specific paragraph, maybe it's your intro, maybe it's a quote or some dialogue, or maybe it's just uh, your conclusion or how you might want to wrap it up. Now you know a little bit more about stage number three of the writing process, revision, and hopefully you guys are pretty clear on how you guys are going to be doing peer review and also how you're going to be using tutoring to help you improve your paper. If you guys need any help from me, you can always message me in Canvas or you can drop by an office hour. I'd love to go over your paper with you and also help improve your, your ideas or even give you feedback on the paper so that you can make it stronger. I know that you're gonna do an awesome job in revision and I'm looking forward to seeing you more online. Have a great day.